just woke up. And there's a lot of fog around here. So filming is just going to be of the beach and the fog right now, but it is pretty cool because it's something different. I'm not sure how much filming is going to be done today if the fog sticks around all day long, but I doubt it will. So let's go for a walk on this beach. Join me this morning for the dogs, ferret chasing seagulls, the fog rolling out of the coast, hopefully, and the sound of the waves. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the very first spot on the Samuel H. Borden Byway, and it's called Lone Ranch Beach. The dogs are going to stay in the van while we take a walk down here to the beach. Take a look. This beach isn't nearly as long and as wide as Myers Beach North, but that's okay. And that's the reason why I didn't bring the dogs out here today. There are other people out here with other dogs. And while I'm walking and filming this, and you guys gotta check out what I'm looking at right now, but while I'm walking and filming this, it would be difficult with this deep sand. Holding a camera and holding two dogs while I walk this beach. So it's better they stay up there, but take a look at what somebody built out of driftwood. Pretty cool. Some people actually have some energy to uh, lift all that wood up there and build quite a nice structure. Let's walk down this beach. There's a huge rock over here.
This tiny home comes with a lot of sand. Definitely not for me, but it is pretty cool to look at. Those rocks over there are about as far as you can go north. So I'm gonna head back south. The dogs are right on top of that hill. I can hear them barking. But I'm gonna walk back south. Why don't you guys come with me? You don't see stuff like that every day, especially in most of the places that I've been to around this country. Stuff like that is the reason why I love this place so much. The 101, just north of Brookings, here on the Pacific Northwest Coast in Oregon. If you guys could get here someday, take at least four days, come here and soak all this in. Okay, so here we are at the second pull-off, and the second one is called Cape Ferrero, and uh, it doesn't disappoint. It's just an overlook to the sea, and there's a boat down there, but let's take a look. You can always hear Barrett right there barking in the background because he wants to be out here with us enjoying this scenery. But man, this sea just goes on forever and there's a rock way out there. Take a look. All right, guys, pretty cool views for today. The first two pull-offs didn't disappoint at all. I really enjoyed being to both of them. Now I have that memory. And I got some video for you guys to see as well, so you have that memory. But cameras never do it justice. So if you can, take a couple days, four preferably, and come down to this Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor on the 101, just north of Brookings, Oregon. And if you can, boondock at Myers Beach North. You won't be disappointed at all. But as for right now, guys, this is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned tomorrow for the second 
part of doing the pull-offs here on the Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor or Scenic Byway. I'm not sure which one it's called. But thanks guys for coming along. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And the best thing you could do for me and the dogs is to share out this video or other ones to help my channel grow. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you on the next one. Tea.